Um, hi, welcome to this uh, quote-unquote director's commentary slash editing tutorial on the ending bit for my uh, Portal 2 review. So, during this ending bit, I have this old caged bird named Herbert the Ancient in prison come in and say, like, ah, oh, he's out to kill me. So, I thought I'd, like, go through the edits and what I did, because I'm actually really proud of it. I did a lot of weird experimental stuff, so we're just gonna go through it, and I'll just pause and explain. And I have a few, like, resource files to show. But, first... Uh, okay. Time for an ending bit. Uh... Maybe I should do something with a costume. And then, so I, I start off by saying, oh, I need an ending bit, and I, I have this weird mask on. Now, if you notice, my hair here is blonde, and in the rest of the video, it's brown. <laughs> so, I actually forgot to record this part, which I am really, uh, it really makes me angry that I was so stupid and I forgot to record this part before I, uh, dyed my hair blonde. So, this is just how I compensated. But anyway, starting from the actual edit. So, as you can see in the timeline, uh, it's just a simple picture of my room with and without the door closed. And the second it opens, we have the Minecraft door sound effect. And we have Riley's voice line. I had my friend Riley voice this guy. And then we have Herbert. How about you die? So, the way we did Herbert... Uh, I had a friend, well, I say friend, I had a family member, uh, just hold this bird and just, you know, bounce it around, and I just, I told, I told her to do a bunch of stuff, and, uh, this is not, like, a blue screen or a green screen, this is actually the blanket that I sleep with, uh, which I just hung up, so that's how we were able to, like, get a nice chroma key. As you can see, a little bit, bit of it bleeds through, but eh, it's whatever. Then I just talk more, simple zoom in. Might as well just play No, it. I already tried that out. I'm not really a fan. Wait, who are you? I am Herbert. That crow who pecked at and ate potatoes. Thus I was imprisoned for my crimes. I'm a part of six dangerous individuals who are here to kill you. So, as you can see, we have this little graphic. That's cr So, for this, obviously, I just got a still frame. And to just mask out the, uh... Let me see if I can... Hello? The ugly parts of the green screen that I mentioned. I just put a simple draw mask around uh, Herbert. And now, as for uh, as for this uh, text here, I just got a simple uh, text native to Final Cut title. Title, sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's called Drifting. Let me see if I can just, yeah. Yeah, so I just put that in there, named it differently, changed it with the, with, uh, the fonts, and I just simply rotated it so that it would go along with these paint streaks. But as for these uh, paint streaks, actually, first I guess I should mention the noise. Um, in the game, Neo, the world ends with you. Uh, there is a, every time a new character is introduced, a little graphic plays much similar to that. So what I did is that I started a new game, and I turned every sound. I turned all like effects down except for sound effects. So here it is. So I simply just stole the noise basically from that. Um, and as for those like paint streak looking things. So I have this Photoshop layer file. The bottom layer is green, so I can easily green screen it. And then I just made a layer with the color and the texture, and I merged that together, and I applied a layer mask. And then what I can do is uh, I can basically just, that is, I selected the layer instead of the mask. So, you know, I can just paint over it with a thing. So basically what I did was 
I painted the entire thing black to hide it. And then I went over it with a well, with a white brush. But uh, obviously it was very slow as you can see because Photoshop isn't used to having having this big of a brush size. So obviously I sped that up a little bit. And then uh, for like the actual paint streak that the tile went on, I just simply did this. Well, I did that, but it was white and the brush size was a little smaller. Let's see if I can actually replicate it. Yeah, I that's this is just what I did. So that's what I did for that. And then obviously, just like, but when it ends, I just simply reverse the footage. That crow who pecked at and ate potatoes. So that's how I did that trick. Oh, you're that crow. I got a question. How did that potato taste? Because, like, there's no way that it was right. Wait, who and what? Herbert, the ancient imprisoned. Lost poet Edgar. Deserter Sonny and Raider Bean. Punished prisoner Hubert. Sinister Humphrey and our esteemed leader. We are the copyright looking ass Sinister Six, also known as Class. Why do you want to. So. Uh, first, I should mention that Riley, unfortunately, Riley's audio cut out, and we spent like an hour recording these lines, like over and over, and I didn't want to put more stress on them. So what I did is that when, he's supposed to say "together we are," but it cuts out really weird. So I just make a simple fade in when he says "we are." We are. That way, it sounds a little bit more natural. I also add a pause between that, as you can see. But as for the main thing is these uh, all these GIFs. I'll just use Herbert's one as an example. But I made these all in Adobe Animate, and I you know I just start by we have the background layer obviously, and then we have the layer with actual Herbert, and I just make it change every nine frames. And I repeat that three times. It's just the same thing over and over, but you know I just make a drawing and I turn on onion skinning and I try and just like very slightly oh, I guess I can't look at yeah okay there we go very slightly just simply like try and replicate it but like it doesn't have to be perfect and that gives it that effect and I do it with the text and the thing I did it with all of that so that's what I did for that but as for the part where he brings up the esteemed leader. And our esteemed leader! So, what I did here was uh, I got a bunch of drifting text. That was just a bunch of question marks. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing up. I guess it's not having a fun time rendering. So, it's not an actual GIF that I made in Animate. But, and uh, I, I simply, I made this, I just made this image in Illustrator. I just drew it up real quick. Uh, and I just made it drift across the screen. And I just make this text appear. So that's how I did that. Why do you want to kill me? That doesn't matter. You're about to die. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so for that part, obviously I have the, uh... I just simply added a nice little slap effect for when I actually slap Herbert. And I instantly just transition it to a video of just me throwing him against my door. And the second he hits there, I have two things going on. So one... I have this, uh... Terminal montage green screen explosion effect, which uh, I made it into a compound clip to so I can work better with the coloring, but uh, that's all I did. But then I uh, obviously I put a red tint on this footage, and then I slowed it down, and I played the No More Heroes kill theme.
And I put a little text that just be like, oh, you gained 15 XP, and I make it fade out into black, and then I make this footage fade in. They want to kill me? And then I just have it cut to black, and then show me karaoke want you gone for the outro. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to make this fun little thing to explain how I made the edit for this video, or at least the edit on the, on the end of this video. Uh, as you can see, it's a very lengthy video compared to like other stuff I make. Most of my reviews are like 20 minutes. This one's pretty long. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess another thing I could mention is that, uh, I made these in After Effects, these all. Little... Yeah, all of those. I made that in After Effects, which, which I explained in my podcast, uh, video how i edit the podcast so yeah also i just i have a dio's theme from jojo's playing as the uh background music so yeah thank you for watching uh i'll see you uh some other time and see ya